Twists, turns, speculation, the case of novelist Michael Peterson has captivated millions for decades. In 2001, his wife was found dead at the bottom of their stairwell. Peterson went on trial, and while he maintained his innocence, he was convicted, served time in jail, and was eventually freed. It's a did he, didn't he debate that not only divided the country, but the Peterson family itself. Now, that family is the focus of a new HBO Max series called The Staircase. Our Lindsay Davis talked with the stars of the show, Sophie Turner and Odessa Young, about diving into this complicated case. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Obviously, The Staircase, it's no stranger to media attention. Novelist Michael Peterson agreeing to plead guilty to manslaughter in the 2001 death of his wife, Kathleen. The murder case against Michael Peterson doesn't just involve his wife anymore. There was even an award-winning documentary about it. 911, where's your emergency? My wife's had an accident. She's still breathing. What kind of accident? Still what do you think it is about this case in particular that, that draws people in? For me, I think it's the fact that this case just keeps adding layer upon layer upon layer. I mean, you know, from the moment that uh, the tragedy happened, there's been deception, there have been cover-ups, there's been agendas, and the intrigue keeps ramping up. How about you for you, Odessa? You think you have a handle on what's going on. You think your opinion on whether he's innocent or guilty or what happened. And then you find out some new piece of information that completely changes your idea about what the hell is going on. I'm worried about some things that will come to light. Come to light. Sooner or later, everyone's going to know who you are. Did Mom know? I'm just curious, and you don't have to say what at all you think it is, but did you each come away from this thinking, I know whether or not Michael Peterson is guilty or innocent. I was always looking at it, you know, from the perspective of, you know, what if I was Michael's daughter? And I had a very distinct, you know, protective energy over that family and over him. But I have become far less preoccupied with actually coming to a conclusion. And you feel the same, Sophie? I do. I watched the documentary, um, prior to knowing anything about them making an HBO Max series. And I think I had much, far, far stronger opinions when I watched the documentary. And, and you know, at one point I, I was like, I definitely did it absolutely 100%. And then towards the end of the, the docuseries, I think I was like, oh, no, he definitely didn't do it. And then after working on, on this show and, and kind of, months and months of speculating within the cast itself we we just i i think i left just um more bewildered than than i was going into it dad has been there for us always stop questioning everything just stop i can't i can't i can't what's the significance about the the division within the family like how were you able to really bring that forward to life because there are some of the children that actually think he did it and some of the children who who don't i had to view it from the point of you know margaret for her she would just have this like unwavering loyalty and and uh almost clinging on to him because she she feels he he's he's been her savior he's been her family and, and sophie how do you prepare differently or do you when you're actually playing a real character versus a, a fictional character like in game of thrones the great thing about playing a real character a real person is the fact that you already have so much groundwork available to you that has been done for you you know they've lived their life for you basically I just was able to, you know, watch the documentary, read books, read as much as I could on the internet, um, speak to people. And so it's a completely different kind of ball game, but it's, it's exciting either way. It's a challenge either way. And of course, this is an all-star cast. Many of you are actually British. So was there anything that you did to, to, to prepare and get in the mindset of this American family from Durham, North Carolina? So much Chick-fil-A. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I think it's hard to feel like you're anywhere but the South when you're filming in Atlanta. And how about the accents? How about, I mean, because everybody, like, you, you've, I think, fooled everybody, right? I mean, it sounds like this Southern American family. Dad tells stories. Not from all of us. Not from Mom. She would have told me. 
Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad that it sounds like that. Yeah, (laughs) it was fun sitting around the dinner table when we were shooting the Peterson family scenes and we'd go, how many Americans actually are there in the room? Like, I think two out of the entire family. Did you feel that a a part of this was really not even so much about the, the murder and the trial, but the impact on the family members individually. Yeah, definitely. We've already seen what's gone on during the trial in the courtrooms. We've already seen whatever's put in the documentary, what they've kind of designed. This is more about speculating about what happened behind closed doors. Family is all we got. We're not perfect. God knows. But we've survived. Because we stick together. And we love each other. And lastly, do you feel that that for viewers, there are larger themes or messages that emerge beyond just Michael Peterson? This show is is very much about the corruption and the layers of corruption that come from assumption or presumption or all these little things that make a person human can be brought into a, a court case or a trial and used against a person, you know, used as ammunition. The show is definitely about the repercussions of, of assumptions. The repercussions of assumptions. That's good. That's good. The Petersons are crazy. Lindsay, thank you. And the first three episodes of The Staircase are available right now on HBO Max. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.